we wanted to try. Obviously, we knew that a fed baby is a happy baby, but breastfeeding was important for us, especially when we fought so hard for them. We knew the benefits. We both decided that it's something that we would try. My role is to educate and support both staff and families with all aspects of feeding throughout the neonatal journey. This can include expressing breast milk for your preterm and sick baby, breastfeeding, bottle feeding or transitioning from tube feeding to oral feeding. I also provide a discharge follow-up service for mothers of infants who have been discharged home receiving breast milk. This has proven a vital service for parents and has certainly eased the transition from the neonatal unit to home. Everybody's checked on me, there's been no pressure for volumes. They've tried to make me relax a bit more and to support me, have, having them guide me through it rather than me feel the pressure of having to make all the decisions. Them supporting me to help me feel less stressed. And, and helping, helping me to support Sarah, even though I'm not the one that's breastfeeding, it's helped me to be able to support her through this journey. All staff in the neonatal unit are trained in accordance to the baby friendly standards set by UNICEF. We also have a number of infant feeding champions like myself and Steph. Family centred care is at the heart of everything we do within the Ulster neonatal unit and myself and Cathy are here supporting parents with any feeding difficulties that they might face. I am the interim feeding lead for acute maternity services. My role is to assist women who require extra feeding support within the first 14 days after birth. Within the specialist um, infant feeding clinics, we help women who are struggling to breastfeed, struggling to latch their baby at the breast, who need extra help with positioning and attachment. It's so important for other mums out there to know those things and to be educated on it so that they can make the right decisions for them.